Today we are going to review several homes that came on the market in the past seven days or so in Wyndham, New Hampshire. Before we get going though, I wonder if you ever wanted to know why Wyndham is pronounced as Wyndham and not Wyndham. The official story goes that the second Earl, Charles Wyndham, the second Earl of Igremont, was the person who Wyndham was named after. But I have a different theory which I'm going to reveal to you at the end of this video. In any case, let's get going. If you visit my Wyndham community page, on the right hand side, click on Wyndham New Listings. And you will see the homes that were listed in the past week. You can also click on Map, which will show the location of these homes on the map with Wyndham outlined. If you remove this boundary and draw your own area, then the display will change and it will limit the uh, homes that you can view to the ones that you have selected based on the circle. But in any case, for now, let's go to our first listing, which is at 23 Janice Hill Road. What's unique about this property is that it has two master bedroom suites. One of them is great for in-laws or guests on the first floor, and the second one is over the three-car garage, so it's really lar large and um, gives you a tremendous amount of space even if you want to work out in your own room. So the first bedroom is on the first floor, has a beautiful um, master bathroom with a corner tub, and the second bedroom is, as I said, over the garage. You can view the details when you uh, visit this page on my website and I'll post that in the description of this video. The next home that we are going to briefly look at is new construction. It's plan only, nothing has been built yet at 67 Heritage Hill Road, so it was just listed. It is in a beautiful neighborhood and uh, what you need to know is that the uh, minimum size of the home that can be built there is 4,000 square feet due to the covenants and also if I remember correctly they cannot they are not allowed to use vinyl siding so it has to be natural material probably wood or stone. The third home we're going to look at briefly is actually a foreclosure. Hard to believe but this is a foreclosure property and um, obviously as usual it does need some work. So you can see that the kitchen is in sad shape and um, on the other hand it has some beautiful architectural features um, it's a contemporary style home, so if you love th those kind of homes with all the lights and skylights as you can see them here, it may be a good option to grab this home uh, which is actually very attractively priced relative to its size and uh, it sits on 2.76 acres, 4,700 square feet. So typically you don't get a home of that size in Wyndham for 560. The next home is a new listing and this too uh, needs a little bit of TLC uh, because of its really really low price for Wyndham. I think they are expecting uh, or have expected multiple offers because there was a deadline here to submit multiple offers but you never know um, it's under contract right now 
and um, it may come back on the market. Who knows how the financing or especially the home inspection will work out since um, this home may need some work. The um, next listing is in a beautiful area in Wyndham and uh, it's in Lampleiter village which is uh, not really detached condos but small blocks of four condos in one building and it's very stylish beautiful features um, kitchen is gorgeous has a first floor master and this particular home also offers a finished basement so it is a really good value at that price 324 or so and uh, 2200 square feet two bedrooms on the first floor and three bathrooms uh, this home happens to be in the same area same development so we're going to skip that and um, now this is totally unique for Wyndham it just came on the market and it's a multifamily it's a two-family it's a duplex which is unheard of especially at that price even for the surrounding towns um, I think the catch is as I heard that it's in a um, fairly sad shape a lot of things need to be redone siding roof etc so it's really for people who uh, want to invest in a two-family home in Wyndham and are willing to spend the money. As I understand, they have multiple offers already, uh, but as of today, it is still showing as active. This property concludes our little review. And now stay tuned for the big reveal why Wyndham is pronounced as such and not Wyndham.